Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Storm here today, back with another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a question that I got asked in the comments section below one of the videos, and that was how to create a cinematic or a cutscene in Unreal Engine 4. So it's really complex. You can do a lot of different things with the cutscene system in the game, so or in the game engine rather. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you like a really basic entry cutscene. So what we're going to do is make a cutscene so that when the level starts, when the player starts level one of our game, they're going to have a cutscene that starts at the enemy character and then pans all the way to the player character with the enemy character charging the player and they need to react and do something to fight the guy. This is pretty simple to do and pretty straightforward, so let's just get right into it. The first thing you're going to need is a cinematic camera. So to do that, on the left side of the screen, you will see cinematic. Go ahead and click on that. Click on Cine Camera Actor. Drag that into your scene, into our level. In this case, we're doing it on level one. So that's going to drop a camera here. The next thing we need to do is get the camera facing towards the scene. So when it drops in, it's not at the proper angle. To do that, click the Rotate Options here. Drag it 90 degrees so it is facing our scene. You can see that it's facing our scene because it's giving us a Cine Camera Actor screen in the bottom corner. Next thing we need to do is line this up on the enemy character that charges you at level one. To do that, switch to the draggy one like this, the uh, position that transforms its location in the world, line it up on the enemy character, and then we can bring it in a little bit closer if we want a, a more uh, personal type of uh, cutscene. Anyway, so now we have the camera sort of centered on this dude here. The next thing we need to do is add a cinematic. To do that, click cinematics in the top, and we're going to add the level sequence. So cinematics at the top, add level sequence. It's going to ask you to name it whatever you want, so we're going to call this Cine YouTube Tut. Sure, it doesn't particularly matter. In this menu, you need to assign cameras for different timings and whatnot. So like in a AAA RPG type of game where you have multiple cameras focused on multiple characters throughout the cutscene where they're having dialogue and whatnot, you would go ahead and have to do this. If you wanted to have like a cinematic where the enemies are fighting, you need to have it coded already for the enemies to be fighting each other, to be doing the different animations with each other. You can't really do animations from this. It has to already have been designed. You're basically just moving this camera around the scene that you've already created, which is why in this game, since we only have player character that we can move as well as characters that are gonna charge our player to try and kill them, all we can really do for a cutscene is have a player charging the character and record it happening. Anyway, so to get started, we need to add a track, and to add a track, we're actually gonna add an item. So we're gonna actor to sequencer, this top thing right here. Click that, scroll down until we find our cine camera actor. So for you, it's gonna be cine camera actor one, because I've done this multiple times to make sure it works. It's cine camera actor three. The next thing we're gonna see here on this menu is the duration of frames. So right now it's set to 150 frames. This is way too long, the character runs too fast. So we're just gonna drop this down to 60. So 60 frames should be somewhere around there. If you need to know exactly where it is, you can click this red drag thing here, drag it on over, and you will see that it is 60 frames. So now what we need to do is set the position from start to finish for this camera. To do that, use the browser over on the right to select Cine Camera Actor 3, or in your case, Cine Camera Actor 1, since this is your first time doing it, it will select the camera. You can now pick when to set keyframes for this camera. So what we're gonna do is click this little scrubber thing here, set it to zero, Go ahead and click on our Cine Camera Actor and hit Enter. This is gonna set this as frame one. So now that we have our first keyframe selected by pressing Enter on the keyboard, we need to select our second keyframe. To do that, take this red scrubber here across the top and drag it to the end, 60 frames from now. Take the camera, drag it over to about where the player start icon is, which is somewhere around here. I'm kind of just guessing based on that terrain on the backside and where I can see that this player start thing is. And then go ahead and press Enter again. So what it's gonna do is when we hit Save, it's basically gonna run the camera from that starting spot to that finishing point. So if we click the little scrubber and drag, you can see how the camera is gonna move from point A to point B, just like this. Now, in order to get the player to be charged by their enemy, we actually need the enemy to see us. So to do that, zoom in a little bit, go ahead and click on our enemy. Right click on him and hit edit night one. What we need to do is go to the viewport, depending on where you drop in, click the viewport over here in the top left corner. From here, go to the sphere collision that detects where our player is. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the sphere collision on the left side over here. Increase this radius from 30 to 50. That'll make it so this guy can see the player. Just compile and save that and hop back into level one. Control Shift S to save everything we've done here. The last thing we need to do is set the cinematic to start at the start of the level. To do that, hit blueprints and then click open level blueprint. Off of the event begin play that's gonna be there, we need to set this to cinematic mode. So set cinematic mode. 
When you've had that node selected, go ahead and click Set Cinematic Mode, drag off, and type in Cine one more time. We are looking for Create Level Sequence Player. From there, on the drop-down menu, click the one that we have. Cine YT Tut is the one that I've just made. The other one was my practice round. Off of this, go ahead and drag and type Play. And you want the first option, the one that just says Play with nothing else. It's going to ask you what you want the target to be. On this Out Actor, go ahead and drag that into here. It's going to play the cinematic, and then the last thing that we need to do is we need to end cinematic mode. So then we're going to type in Cine one more time. Set cinematic mode should be the only thing that pops up, and we're going to make sure that this box is unchecked. Compile and save. Head back to level 1, Control shift s to save everything, and if you did it right, when you hit the play button, it should show the cinematic with the player being charged by the enemy. So once again, just to show you another time without the sequencer in the way, if you hit the play button, you see the camera, pants to the player character, and then the player character can play. So that is basically it for creating a cutscene in Unreal Engine 4. If you found this video useful, guys, make sure to leave a like. Also, make sure you subscribe so you stay updated when new parts of the series come out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.